what's happening right now in our region because we've seen, of course, what happened in the clashes on India's borders with China. Yeah. And also because... Well, that's going to continue. They're going to keep penetrating borders like they have in Bhutan. They're certainly doing in Nepal. All across your border from Arunachal to Ladakh. Mm -hmm. They're going to be messing with the borders. Places that they said, still, you know, we don't have any treaties there. We haven't decided where the borders are. You know, and we have lots of weapons. We have a lot of money. And... It's, yeah. And I think India also waking up to the its its outreach again to His Holiness because India also often goes so hot and cold in terms of how much they look at what China calls as provocation. But India now taking a very different stand. But the impact in the neighborhood, you've seen what's happening in Sri Lanka because of China economic debt, the One Belt, One Road initiative. Do you think we've realized enough or this region has realized enough what China's plans are for domination of here? They're very clear. They've been clear for many decades. They have a hundred year plan that came out in the 1980s. They're about 50 years ahead of that plan already. They told the world what they were going to do. And they've been very, very clever about it. They're patient. They don't have to get involved in a war. They get involved in economies. What they did in Sri Lanka, what they're doing in the, in the stand countries in Asia, what they're doing in Mongolia. I mean, they don't have to fire a gun. They just own the countries through the economies. They lend money, I and mean, the horrible thing that happened in Sri Lanka, you know, lending money there that they had to give them the port. So now China owns the port in Sri Lanka. Well, they've done the same thing in Italy. They have a deal now to, to basically own a port in Italy. It's crazy.